What's good, YouTube, man? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Q that Rude Boy, aka The Wave Man, 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 man. We back at it like crack at it. You already know how we rocking, man. Hey, I'm here today with that PNB rock vocal effect tutorial. It's what you've been waiting for. I know y'all was waiting for this, John, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Hey, hey, let me stop talking, man. This is a banger, so let's get right into it. After these messages. Oh, I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. Yeah. I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. Yeah. I can tell these hoes. I can tell these. Yeah. yeah. I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, these hoes ain't right. What's good, everybody? I'm glad y'all came to my channel today, man. If you aren't a part of this Wave Gang family, I don't know what you're waiting for, man. Subscribe because we lit on this channel, man. Every day we lit. Every day we lit, you feel me? Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we turning up real live. Like, make sure you thumbs up this video because you already know, man. The more thumbs up we get, the more videos come your way. Make sure you follow me here at Q.Ruboy on Instagram and Twitters. On the Twitters, you feel me? And make sure you guys spam up them comments, man. I want to see whatever y'all want to see. Let me know in them comments. I want to shout out uh, the producer that made this beat. His name is C Lab. His links are gonna be in the bio, so make sure y'all check them out and go shop. You feel me? Y'all gonna hear the beat. It's a banger, so stop playing with me. And I also wanna shout out two people. The first person I wanna shout out is Neil Randolph. He left a lit ass comment. You already know how we rocking. And I also wanna shout out iSpite51. You feel me? iSpite51. So these should be on the screen right now. If you wanna shout out, make sure you head to the Instagram and leave a comment. And you could probably be next, you feel me? So let's get into it, y'all. I'm about to show y'all what we're going to be uh, listening to today. This is the track. Uh, like I said, C-Lab produced the track. Links are in the description. I already said that. So let's hear what we working with today. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today. We're gonna break down how I mix this record, you know, uh, how to get that PNB rock type sound vocal. You feel what I'm saying? And make sure if you want to hear the rest of the song, it's gonna be down in the description as well. So make sure you click, go to the SoundCloud, and check out the song if you want to. That's where I put a lot of the songs from the vocal tutorials. I just put it on the SoundCloud. So if y'all want to check it out, man, go ahead. You feel me? All right. So first off, like I say in a lot of these tutorials, if you want to sound like any of these artists, you have to type sound like these artists. For instance, if we're talking about PNB Rock, he has a, a very specific riff and run, you know what I'm saying? So his run is, oh, no, oh. So first, if you want to learn to do that, you know, you gotta just practice your vocals, cause PNB Rock actually does semi sing. He, I would consider him a singer. His topics might not be on the uh, cliche singer vibe, but nonetheless, he has vocal ability. He practices, and he sings. So that's just facts. No. So when you're practicing, that's basically how you practice whatever you want to practice. Riffs and runs is just repetition, like anything else in life. If you want to learn how to shoot a basketball, you got to shoot a basketball. But the lows were low. I mean, the lows were low during the regular season, and I think that battle tested this group. Simple. You want to learn how to riff and run, you got to riff and run. 
you're not gonna be the best, but it, it's muscle memory. So no, and it just goes faster. So that's PNB Rock's basically what he does. That makes PNB Rock PNB Rock. Without that, he's no longer PNB Rock. You feel me? Facts. So let's get right back into this tutorial. Let's get into these uh, vocal effects. So the first thing is um, we get an auto tune, and you gotta understand auto tune is solely based on the beat that you're giving because the beat that you're giving has a specific key that that's in. So in order for you to sound correct on the beat, you have to first be in key and then you have to know the key of the beat to put the auto tune in. So basically how I do it is um, I'll make a video if you guys want me to just comment in the description. But basically how I do it, I'm gonna be honest, I just do it by ear. Uh, it's got to that point where I've trained my ear over the years and you just can just hear it so and a lot of people will be able to do that as well off the rip so so that's just first so for this beat that i was given i was uh it was a a flat i believe that's an a flat Shit. <laughs> hopefully you feel me so that's an a flat major i put the key in a flat it's a major scale um for this specific song i won't even say pnb rock in uh off the usual, but PNB Rock has a relatively, uh, I would say, regular, not robotic y type auto tune sound. But for this song, I put the retune speed at zero. I would say anywhere between zero and 20. That's kind of large, but it just all depends on your voice and what you actually want to hear for your mix. So I put it at zero, but what you see, uh, I kind of offset that with the humanize. I put the humanize at 22 just to give it a less robotic y sound as well like PNB Rock's vocals, basically. And that's basically all I touched. So that's, uh, first of all, for the uh, auto-tune. Next thing we did, we went into the uh, EQ. And as you can see, I did a high-pass cut high pass cut um, at 136, kind of rolls it off. Then I did a uh, bass cut for my vocal at 246. I do this in a lot of my uh, EQs. You know, you don't want to boost too many things. You want to take out, I guess, more than you boost, if you boost at all. And a lot of times you don't have to boost anything at all. So, so yeah, 246 is where I did my cut. If you guys want to learn how to cut, basically what I do, I say this in a lot of videos, just go up to the top, make sure your uh, your Q is small because you want to be able to scan. So what, you go, what you're going to do is you're basically going to turn the beat off, first of all. And you're gonna listen to your vocal. She, was calling to my she told me leave them girls alone. Them girls alone. Found out what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had way too much going on. Yeah. I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. Yeah, yeah. I can tell these hoes. So if you heard, uh, basically what you scan for is that uh, boxy tone in the bass in the bass vocal range. And basically mine is usually around 246. So I go to 246 and just. Simply just dig inside and just, you know, cut. Cut it about at 246. You can find your vocal range by that method I just showed you right there by just simply boosting OD, scanning left to right until you find your, your jump. Facts. Next thing I did was uh, I did a boost at uh, about 4K, and then I did also I did another boost at about 14K up. Reason I did the boost at 14K is to give it that air over the vocal that I feel like a lot of R&B songs have. And just to get that presence, you know, because sometimes your stuff has to cut over the beat. That's a fact. So that's for the EQ. Next, I used a fruity limiter to compress the vocal. I used that. And basically what I did was I changed the limit to compression. And what I did, I put the threshold up so that this blue line really came down. So it's really hitting the threshold. So it's actually working. Facts. Um, and then uh, I pushed the attack really fast. That's what you want, because when as soon as it hits that threshold, you want it to hit the vocal right after that. Also, what I did was um, the release, I made that faster, and then uh, that's pretty much all I did. I mean, you can go ahead and copy that down and just play with it and see what works for you. That's with anything. It has to work for you, because what works for me is not necessarily going to work for you, but it should be around the same range. So nothing is just preset, 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 preset. So if anybody's telling y'all just, oh, click this, click this, click, that's not how it works. That's just not how it works. Facts. <laughs> Next thing I did, I put a compressor on just to get uh, more compress, more compression. So I used the fruity compression. Uh, basically, I usually put the ratio down to three to one. And also, 
uh, the threshold up just to hit more. And I put the gain up to 6.4 to bring the vocals up a little bit more. I didn't want to go too crazy to where it's distorting or anything, but I did want it uh, a little louder because it was getting kind of, you know. Next thing I did, I put these on a lot of my main vocals and even background vocals and so on. I put a sound goodizer on the vocal. So what the sound goodizer does, it really, I feel like, a lot of times you'll be mixing, you'll be like, okay, this sounds good, but it's not cutting. You want it all to cut. So I use the sound goodizer to cut it. I use the A preset, and I just move it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what this does. I'm going to play the vocal, and then I'm also going to uh, just move this up and down, and you guys can hear what it does. She, was calling to my phone. she told me, leave them girls alone. Found out what was going on. Yeah, yeah. She had way too much going on. So as you can hear, uh, it gets really excited. So it's basically an exciter. If you don't have like uh, any other exciter plugins, or you don't feel like boosting OD because that don't sound super crazy, just go ahead and hit this uh, sound goodizer. It's the easiest. It's a one. It's a it's a button. You just swear. Like come on now, you just move it up and down. Like it's the easiest thing to do, and it gets the job done to more than it. That doesn't even it it even has to like this is an amazing plugin use it okay now as you can see i have a fruity chorus and this is actually the default fruity chorus uh i went ahead and used because the reason why i put this on the vocals because in pnb rock vocals his um vocals are very wide almost like a chorus effect the chorus effect will make your vocals much more wider so i put this on and i basically used what i call a sub bus I don't use buses. I just use these knobs because there's more than enough uh, effect channels here to do it. Um, if your computer doesn't have a lot of processing power, you might need buses because you can't do this if you have like mad tracks. I'm not going to lie. My computer, well, this computer, the PC, because I have both a PC and Mac, but the PC is not strong at all. But I don't use much tracks to record anyway. So, but. Like I said, I don't use buses, and this is basically how I do it. I put the uh, effect on the channel, and I just use this this right here, this knob, to just basically put the effect on the actual vocal. So I'm going to play it and just move the knob, and you guys are going to hear what this does. She told me leave them girls alone Found out what was going on She had way too much going on So basically what I do that for is just to give it a wider Just a little wider, you know It's not noticeable, noticeable But it does make a difference, believe that Alright uh, Next is the reverb We just use the default reverb And same thing with the sub bus You just Move it up and down. Uh, basically, for PNB Rock, he uses reverb. He has a relatively ambient sound. I'm not going to say ambient as in the weekend or anything like that, but his stuff is still spacey, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and delay. Uh, what I like to do is put it on ping pong. You know what I'm saying? I got the free to delays going, doing the sub bus action still. You never want a full delay like this. It'll make your vocals sound way back. So make sure you guys are, um, you know, monitoring that. And uh, so the main thing you want to mess with in this is like time and because delays have to be timed. So for every song, every song has a different BPM and that's where the timing really like matters. That's where it's determined by the BPM. Because if it's like, you don't want, daddy's eating going on. Like, you don't want that type of delay. So make sure you guys play with this time right here, and that'll get you right. And also make sure you cut the um, delay. I like to cut my delay because I don't like my delay to sound exactly like the actual vocal. I want it to be more in a filter. So make sure you cut it. You feel me? So that's that for the main vocal, and let's go to the, uh, these are the ad-lib vocals. Basically, the only thing I changed on this channel will be the uh, parametric EQ. And what I did was I just did a high and a low pass cut, and I just brought the vocal in together to give it more of a, almost a telephony type um, filter, except for less high end. So that's that, and let me let y'all hear the... Uh, the actual, you know, backgrounds. 
She was calling on my phone. So that's the background. It's a you can hear it's kind of like a telephony, but telephone effect, but it doesn't have too much high end to where it's like an annoying Jones just itching in your ear when you listen through headphones and OD stuff like that. All right, and the next thing, what I like to do on stuff like that, you want your background vocals to be background vocals. So if you want background vocals, <laughs> You got to put uh, the reverb up a little bit more than you do with the um, actual main vocal. Reason being is because when you're working with the main vocal, you want that to stick out more. So you're not going to put as much reverb on the top one so that you can actually like that one cuts through the mix while you want the background to sit further back in the mix. So the more you throw reverb on something, the further back it goes. Just think about it like that. Or the further it seems, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you hear somebody scream and you hear echoes or, you know, reverb, reverb, echo, one and the same, same difference, uh, you think it's far. You get the illusion of far. So that's what you want to do that for. Same with delay. Um, you want to also put it up more than your your actual main vocal. All right. Uh, last but not least, we have the double track and what i did for these are so stuff like this i play this this one for you why she want a nigga all alone but she want a nigga all alone so that's my doubling track aka harmonies if you guys want to hear do video if y'all want to hear me do a video on harmonies make sure you guys spam up them comments and stop playing with me because i'm not playing with you stop playing with me stop playing with me all right enough of that but um <laughs> like i said uh that's the uh doubling track aka harmony what i did was you want to hold the same principles as you want to mix the principles of the main vocal and the background vocal so when i say that the EQ goes back to about the same as the main vocal because you want these to be very clear. You know what I'm saying? Now, the difference is here with the sound goodizer. I wanted these to really come through the track. So this is what makes it shine, the extra shine. You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and put up the sound goodizer up there uh, even more than the main vocal because just to give it that extra breath, you know what I'm saying? Like a magical harmonizing layer. And uh, also... The new addition to this, what makes this uh, different is I added a flanger, a flanger, or, you know, a flanger, flanger, whatever, just to give it an ambient, a more ambient vibe. And that's basically how I did the harmonies, like a PNB rock type song. So that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. I mean, let me know if y'all rocking with it, man, because we doing this stuff crazy. We, we going crazy on this channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys follow me here at QDIRUBOY on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you thumbs up this video because the more thumbs up we get, the more videos come your way, man. I want y'all to spam up them comments, man. Let me know what y'all want to see next because it's the highest quality on this channel, man. If y'all think I'm playing with you, let me know. So stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Spam it up. Dunzos. I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. I can tell these hoes ain't right for me. I can tell these hoes. I can tell these.